So welcome everybody to part two of the Ascendancy path. Last time we fought three different civil wars to get to this point and we still don't even control all of the territory we started with. And we have a powerful enemy on our border of about three times the factories, three times the army size. I don't even want to talk about the navy. We can hope this goes well. We'll get a conductor of the choir of knowledge to get permanent weekly war support so war support will never be an issue anymore and we'll work through our mini focus tree maybe to unlock a larger one later on we'll see uh, we also probably should make an intelligence agency i made one last time but through all the civil wars we ended up losing it anyways if we ever want to compete militarily with our neighbors or anybody else in the world we'll need a lot more civilian factories we're years behind in terms of development and we're still not able to use many also for any Anybody wondering? Equestria War has not updated. I'm just rolling Holy 4 back to the old version so you can still play Equestria War. And once a month, I add some of my top patrons as generals. That's why the generals might look a bit weird for this video. And I've played way too much of this mod. I, when I saw this event, I originally thought it said a lion dawn claw. See, that's when you know you've played one too many games of Equestria War. Well, if you can play too many games. And if anybody has, I have. And the death of the old or so I guess that means we're now in a new order, you could say. Never, never. You must now bring the fallen to the light. We're pretending to give them amnesty to get their leader to come out. We'll also use these decisions to start getting some ship templates, maybe? I guess we already have ship templates, so we probably don't need to use those. <laughs> the piece of art. Hear me and rejoice, O oh spirits of Aquinity. You have the privilege of being saved by the great Star Father. Gathered together in the ruined streets of Colthage were thousands of prisoners of all ages. Though they had not resisted the advances of the equines of silver, they had committed a lesser sin, apathy. These zebras were not sufficiently moved by the words of the Star Father, instead choosing to continue their daily lives as if nothing had changed. Such a choice was justly rewarded, as the equines of silver had prated them from their homes with no regard for the sick or elderly. Now they were forced to stand still as the equine of gold repeated the mantra that they had heard several times in recent history. While you are not servants of Zalmar, your souls have been corrupted by its influence. Fortunately, this corruption is only slight. Today, you will be granted the opportunity to cleanse yourself so that you may wield your fragment of the Godhead with pride. Only through virtuous labor can you accomplish this, and so here you will be placed under the careful watch of those most worthy to teach you in this task. Sounds like very complicated slave labor, but who am I to judge? The building blocks of a new dawn. Now we'll get the event, the Ascendancy. Also, I believe that we need to attack the United Kingdom now, because if they capitulate Chiriptera, we're going to be in a terrible position. We need to work together with Chiriptera if we want any chance of defeating them. The Chiriptera will get powerful in their own right later on too, so it's an impossible scenario. Throughout the former territories of the Colthaginian Republic, there was silence. A new focus tree will be loaded. Our Maybe even this might be our 10th focus tree we've had within these two episodes. Beautiful, very pink. I, I love our last focus, Transcendence. It'll be quite a while until we get there, though. And there are two factions within the Ascendancy Zumanites and Umandites. The Zumanites are artists, the Umandites are scholars. And through this first mutually exclusive focus branch, we have to increase the influence of one. So I think I'll increase the influence of the one with the least influence influence to kind of even things out. I don't really think things need to be even, but it won't hurt. So now we have another choice between them. I think I will do the one that gives us more research speed because we're behind in research and have a long ways to go to become on par with our neighbors. Also, Eris won that war, so we had to cancel the justification. This is going to be very scary. I don't know what to do. I don't even know if I can win now, but I guess I have to try. I'm not going to 
to start over. The Arcturian Order begins their crusade against maybe the one more evil country than us. We also have state decisions here that change the power of the factions and give certain buffs to a state. I guess I'll give this state a construction speed buff. We have found ourselves a guide in the alchemical practices. Ah, oh, my dearest guide, come in, come in, Hiram smiled warmly and invited the guide in, him being our leader. He was disheveled and dirty, covered in muck and stains. Hiram had converted the room into a mixture of a laboratory and greenhouse, and was tending to his plants when she arrived. Apologies for my appearance, Hiram muttered to himself. I must have lost track of time. My teacher, you must rest. The nation relies on you being of sound mind. The guide managed to sputter out a few words. Hiram glared at her. Are you insinuating I am not of sound mind? Yeah, that's crazy. We're definitely of sound mind. We've now unlocked alchemical super projects, yes. This is where the concoctions and potions that the Star Father has brewed from the ingredients collected from the guide's journey are stored for use in the Ascendancy. For the Ascendancy we shall prevail. Sound minds. <laughs> the table of contents. See we have missions. I guess we can go here. We have a 95% chance of success if we attack here. Or I don't, I don't know what we're doing here actually, I have no clue. Yes, I I can't wait though for my alchemical super project. I am very sane, yes. As long as there's some sort of potion to make my ships um, fight really well and, and my factories to produce more guns, we're really outmatched here, okay? I guess we could just justify war on everybody and slowly consolidate territory until we're strong enough to take out Eris. And there's still a ways down before we can actually justify war goals through our focus tree. But I think I'll just manually start justifying some wars. I guess I can keep facilitating urban centralization in this state that we're building up. And good, the lady guide is going to get the ingredients for her star father. That is good, we need lots of ingredients. So yeah, we can keep building this up with the path we took for this state. And I guess we'll take the opposite path for this state so that we get more recruitable population in our most populous state. And it gives us more resources in our state with the most steel, which is good. We can start min-maxing our economy for every state, developing it in the correct way. Maybe through this development microwing we can become slightly more powerful. Okay, and I'm going to take the time to really research ships, because I feel like we need really good ships to have any chance in this game. Well, our, our plan to attack these guys, it's its not going to happen anymore because they just declared on us, which is very smart because now we can't really um, attack other people and get strong. We're just fighting someone that's three, four, five times as powerful as us. We can maybe win though. So yeah, we're, we're not in a very ideal situation to ever win this war. I guess if we just sit across this river and they endlessly attack into us, they'll slowly weaken themselves and they'll slowly be losing manpower because of occupying all that territory. So they can't do this forever, I think. They were forced attacking across the river, they're naval invading, they didn't even try to naval invade into the port. They're really just trying to prove that they, they don't even need to try to win this thing. Breaking into this tile here too, which is really annoying. So I'm going to have to set these guys in their own separate army and just constantly put them on last stand. These divisions have no port and I still, I still just can't get rid of them. They've, they've lost a lot of manpower in this war. I, I don't understand how I can't defeat encircled division. And in the court of an equine of gold. Aww. The punishment for theft is death. However, this poor cult is starving. He stole bread only to feed himself. That is a failing on the part of the regional authorities. They still cut off his leg. Okay, well, I guess it's not really that wholesome. Better than death, I guess. <laughs> but still, um, I don't know if I can get behind them. Actually, you know what? I think we need to not do these focuses and start doing our war focuses. That's probably kind of important considering how we're at war. They've now lost one million manpower, but they're still fine. There's, they still have plenty of manpower and plenty of supply. Soon everyone who's able to fight within this territory will be dead, so they can't do this forever. I'm slowly moving divisions off the front line 
line because they're getting weak enough that they're stopping their stupid attacks. So I have to move divisions away so they start their stupid attack again because we're weak enough that they decide that it's a good idea. I guess I could maybe declare war on the Cult of In Republic, but I feel like that would be kind of a stupid idea while I'm in the middle of this endless war. They're now on scraping the barrel. This is a good sign. This means that the end is almost nigh. We found some water from a special lake and now we have one ingredient. Tear of a hydra and irradiated water of key lake. <laughs> okay, so radiation water and tear. Anyways, we'll keep getting ingredients while I sit here, watch them attack into me. Other ingredient. Let us see, let us mix these together. Oh, okay, that they failed. Apparently those three things make nothing. We'll have to keep finding more things until we find some finally cross the river. I, I don't think they really have any divisions on the front line. They only have divisions from volunteer nations. So I think after losing three million manpower, they finally maybe run out or at least have become stupid and unable to really do anything. Encircled a lot of the volunteers. We're kind of capitulating Zorantia. We should finish this up, at least on the mainland. I don't know if we'll be able to actually move over to their home island and end the war for a while, but at least we'll take control of the mainland. Okay, well, we found Stardust and we took the continent, but we can't occupy all of this. Our army is gone. We don't have any manpower left. We can't increase our conscription law because we have a unique conscription law, so we can't get any more manpower, at least right now. I don't know. I don't think we can make a potion to get a million manpower, but yeah, I guess we'll see you next time. <laughs>